Bowman's in his back run on our gut. Both these assholes just pulled up. Sending some background on Elgato. Your average cat, the four legged variety, has nine lives. Elgato has had a lot more than that. He's been shot, stabbed, garroted, blown up, burned, thrown off a building, run over by a car, half drowned. But he always comes back. He carries a locket with his father's ashes in it around his neck. Snorts it when he needs strength. Says it's better than coke. It's the real power that comes from death. A packaging manager in Romanzo province, he's been working for Santa Blanca since he was 16. His father was the plastic surgeon to the stars, movie stars, and star narcos. But then, his father had a big narco boss on the table and lost him. They both knew what that meant. A long death by torture. Elgato loved his father. So he decided not to let that happen. Did the things he can hold up. <laughs> Shit balls. Let's get back on mission. Bowman's sending some background on Elgato. The dude that thinks he can't be killed? This ought to be good. Hold on. Secure. Let's call in the location. I got you, man. Just stay down, I'll be right there. Hang on, I'm coming. Took you so long.
Drone is airborne. Moving to position. Let me find a good position. Eyes on the target. Roger. Target acquired. Target is down. Yo, eyes on a grunt. The checkpoint, over there. They got alarms rigged up. I got a target carrying submachine guns. I got a third target. Hey, we got a grunt with a submachine gun. Close to the camp entrance. Got another. That's hey, a five. soldier with a submachine gun. Set off the board. Damn, that was close. Hold 
Hold on, man. I'll be right there. Like directions to a site where the cartel prepares its drug mules. Bowman's gonna want to hear about this. Helicopter, Bowman, this is get no down. Man. We've got intel on a site where the cartel's putting locals into drug mules. We've known. Stay down. I'll be right there. Fucking hell. It's Nomad again. Sorry about the interruption. No problem. We've known for a while that El Gato's been running mules out of Romanzo. You've got a handful of doctors that perform the procedure, implanting balloons of cocaine in different places on a person's body. Up to now, the place has been hard to pin down because it shifts locations every couple of months. What's the play here? We raid this place, won't they just relocate? Not if you kill the fucking doc. Seriously? Look. We're not talking Florence Nightingale here. They take desperate people and make them swallow anywhere from three to five kilos of cocaine. Sometimes they implant the balloon surgically to hide even more. Trust me, you'll be saving lives by killing these six fucks. Understood. We'll get it done. I've been wanting one of these. Fucking Apache's about to fire. Get down! Apache's got you lined up. Take cover. Copter, get down. Tango's near the captain. Sit down. Guns down. We don't need to frighten these people. Yeah, hang on. I'll drive. Ah, maybe you're too young to remember. I was lucky because my homie, Leo, and Tortuga, he called shotgun. So I was sitting in the back when the bomb went off, and his fat ass shielded me. My only injury from that bomb... There you go. All the potter you would want. Anybody up for a souvenir? What are you gonna do when someone asks you where you got it? I'll tell them I got it on a secret mission to Bolivia, and then, then I'll kill them. You know, the usual. Shipping manifest from the quinoa processing plant. What's the cartel want with boxes of quinoa? Holt, what's your take on the cartel using the quinoa processing plant to smuggle coke? That sound right to you? Drug smugglers have tried that shit plenty of times in the past, but never on this kind of scale. Here, the cartel... Look and get the cocaine into the boxes as they come off the plant's assembly line. The inner bags get an airtight seal, and the quinoa helps to seal the scent from drug-sniffing dogs. Pretty fucking devious, you ask me. Then the plant's a legitimate target. Let's get after it. This gives the 20 of a Santa Blanca medal they're awarding to some ass kisser. Ah, I could use this.
I'll fly. Good to go. Everybody hold up, we got hostiles in the area. That guy just switched on, must have heard the gunshot. Got something here. These financials show the cartels pouring serious money into the energy drink plant here in Romanza. Something called Electro. What for? No idea. Let's kick it up to Bowman and see if she knows anything. Bowman, you got anything on the cartel smuggling cocaine in an energy drink called Electro? That matches some of the rumors I've heard. The cartel supposedly developed a kind of liquid cocaine. Odorless, colorless, hard to detect with chemical sensors. So they hide it in the drinks and then extract it once it's delivered. Mm. We need to shut this place down. Get inside the plant and blow the liquid storage tanks. That should do the trick. We're on it. Got it. We've got a location on a backdoor clinic where the cartel packs mules to smuggle cocaine across the border. That shit stops now. Get to that clinic, find these so-called doctors, and take them out. Hit the dirt, helicopter. <laughs> helicopter, get down. <laughs> Sniper's got us targeted. Get to cover. Contact, Tango at the dump. Who's up for plugging a rebel radio station back in? Got the location of a dead one right here. Grenade, move! We've got a location on a Santa Blanca chemist who's working on cutting-edge smuggling solutions for the cartel. Go get this guy. I want to know what he's been up to. Are dead. Wait.
Just hold on, man. I'll be right there. Sniper, down, down. Oh, fuck. How about you not let me get shot next time? Hotel docks are down. Objective complete. Clinic's closed. Let's put a biohazard sign on the door and clear the fuck out of here. Here we go. This gotta be the lab. Let's sweep the place and grab this chemist Bowman's after. Watch those chemical stockpiles. You put around in one of those and shit's gonna get real unpleasant. Copy that. Shots fired. He has an agent of intelligence. You've seen us. the package. Let's move. This is a mistake. No soy narco. I just make energy drinks. up on the rally point. Let's get this done. How many times do I have to tell you? I'm just a chemist. It's okay. I get it. The cartel told you that if you were ever arrested, just tell the cops you're an employee of the factory, you work on energy drinks, and sooner or later someone will show up to bail you out. Am I right? Let me clarify the situation for you. We're not the cops. No one is coming to bail you out. You have exactly two choices. Either start giving up the formula, or start giving up your fingers. You're a smart guy. What'll it be?
We have intel on a new type of liquid cocaine that's being smuggled out of the country in bottled energy drinks. I need you to get inside the energy drink plant and destroy the storage tanks. Let's roll. Side, blow the tanks containing the liquid cocaine, and then get the hell out of Dodge. Copy that. Get away from there. They didn't know something was up before, they sure as hell do now. Here's the schedule for an SB helicopter used to ferry supplies around. The rebels need that stuff. Let's go get it for them. La Plaga's getting ready to flee the country with his big brother. We can't let that happen. Take out La Plaga before he gets away. Target's destroyed. Let's move. Sure we can't grab a couple bottles on the way out? I don't know about you, but I could use a little pick-me-up. Those bottles are made for smuggling, not drinking, dumbass. How much liquid cocaine you figure are in those bottles, Holt? Enough to melt your face off or just make your heart explode? Actually, you know what? I'm good.
Have you ever heard of Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid? You mean the old movie? That was based on a true story. They were outlaws in the last days of the Old West, and when things got too hot for them in the States, they left for South America. Eventually, they wound up here in Bolivia, where they robbed the payroll of the Aramaya Silver Mine. Their luck ran out a few days later when the Bolivian army caught up to them in a town called San Vicente. There was a standoff, and Cassidy 